everyone, welcome to According to Gidge. Today I want to do a finds, faves, and flops video. I'm going to start out with a fave, and that is this little girl right here. This is Daphne, and she's not mine, she's just visiting, but I have been having a blast with her. And you can tell, she's really engaged, she's having a total blast too. All right, let's start out with my products. I want to start out with one of my faves. This has been my fave for a long time. This is the Deep Steep Body Wash. They have a lot of incredible scents. The product is free of sodium lauryl sulfate, no parabens, none of the bad junk, none of the chemicals. It's got aloe vera in it, shea butter, and it's very rich and, you know, has a nice suds to it. Um, but yet has all great ingredients in it, which is tricky. I really love this one. If you haven't tried Deep Steep, I love the body wash and I love the lotions. So definitely go check that out. Now onto a body wash that I just recently found. So this is a find and it's a double find because I found it at TJ Maxx and it retails for eight or nine dollars and I got it at TJ Maxx for four dollars. And this is our Organic Surge body wash and this scent is fresh ocean and it is absolutely lovely it's amazing the only reason i have to leave this product in the find category is because i can't find it anywhere it's from the uk and apparently i don't know if very many sto uh, stores in the u.s carry it or not but if you know of a store that carries it let me know because i want to purchase some more i actually went online to see what it would cost for me to ship a few bottles here and the ship for three bottles was $34. So I didn't do that, but if I do find it again anywhere, I will definitely buy it. It's, uh, you know, paraben free, no SLS, uh, you know, no fragrances. I mean, it's just a really lovely, nice um, ingredient agreeable product. So if you do find it somewhere, try it because I do think you'll like it. Now, another one of my fave that this time around is also a find is the Kiss My Face um, Shave Lotion. Oh, it's a, like a shave cream. And I have used this one exclusively for years, and I absolutely love it. If you are the kind of person that likes the, um, the soap kind of feel when you shave, see, I don't like the foams because I don't like all the chemicals in a foam. So I've always used either just soap and water or a cream, and this product is like halfway in between both of those. In fact, I'll tell you a funny story. One of my friends came to visit and she was using my shower and she came out and she said, oh my gosh, I love that bath wash. And I thought, what's she talking about? And I went in there and I looked and it was the shave cream and I just thought that was so funny, but you know, hey, okay. I mean, it, it kind of has that wash kind of, it foams up a little bit. It just has a really nice feel to it. And really, I think, gives you a great shave. So just for that reason alone, go buy it. But I have this in my find category today because I found it at TJ Maxx for two bucks. So had they had like 10 bottles, I would have bought all 10 bottles because that is a total find. All right, so this is find faves and flops. So I do have a product that's a flop. And that is the Juice Organics. This is the conditioner. I actually bought the shampoo and the conditioner. And honestly, I think I gave the shampoo to my husband. You know, I tried them. I didn't like them. The shampoo did not leave my uh, hair even feeling clean. And this is the volumizing conditioner. And I didn't think it volumized or conditioned. So these two products were definitely a flop for me. I know that um, Juice Organics has some face products as well. I haven't tried those, but as far as hair care goes, it's a no for me. All right, so one of my next new fave products that is also a find is the Bloom Naturals, and these are the face washing um, cloths. And they are typically $8. I found these at TJ Maxx for four bucks. So once again, like half price. I love it anytime I can find something for half price. So that's a great price and these are a great face wash. This one is grapeseed extract. It also has aloe in it, vitamin B. The ingredient list on these is wonderful and I wash my face with these and well actually I don't really use them to wash my face because you know if you've watched my videos before I'm a big 
big fan of really a complete face wash but anytime i need to do a quick change on the makeup or just you know i want to freshen my face up a little bit i'll grab one of these and use it they're fantastic they don't dry your face out they just leave your face feeling nice and fresh so if you find this brand somewhere or you want to go online and buy them i totally think you will love it so definitely put this on your to-do list of items to try okay all right so now on to another new fave you know if you watched my halloween videos you know i just went on and on about the jamboree wraps or jamboree wraps i absolutely love these nail wraps i have them on again today i have on the lsu wraps because my husband went to lsu i want to make him happy but i am so ready to put on my christmas wraps i'm telling you if you like a nail wrap you must go check these out i'll put the link right below this video and the great thing about nail wraps is if you have weak nails or they split or they break a lot you put these on for like a week or two and you will see how much your nails can really grow in just like a week they're really fabulous i love them they're the best nail wrap on the market so you have to go try them now i do have a nail flop this month and that is an okay i got these at justice i'll just tell you that and they were some little nail arts and uh these they're peace signs and i thought oh this will be so fun because i love anything like peace signs groovy all that kind of stuff so you put it on your nail and then you paint over it and you peel them off and it should leave a little peace sign on your nail but they didn't actually peel off i mean i thought i was gonna lose my mind trying to peel these suckers off i eventually had to get acetone just to get them off my nails so that was a flop for me but you know okay so let me just say it was at justice so i didn't have really high expectations and they met those expectations so I don't know what else to say. Well, that's my finds, faves, and flops. I'll be back again maybe next month with some more finds, faves, and flops. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll see you again soon. Ciao.